What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to a Pokemon TCG set preview. Now, it's been a while since we've done any TCG stuff. I don't really know why. Uh, I think I started to do some TCG stuff before, but then just got away from it. I kind of want to get back to it, so let me know if you want to see us do some openings. But let's jump straight to it, because it's going to be a bit of a long video. Um, today we're going to be previewing the new Celestial Storm set that is starting pre-releases this coming weekend. Um, so now is the time to go ahead and do it. We can take a look at, you know, what's coming, what you can expect during the pre-release, and what the cards look like. Now, if I remember right, um, this set is made, well, actually, it says right here. It's made up of two Japanese sets that are put together. Uh, it has some omissions. We'll come back and look at that once we finish. Um, but there's a lot of Neo Genesis from way back when I used to play Pokemon, like when I used to collect the cards, way, way, way back years and years 15 whatever years ago um so i'm excited for some of these cards but like i said it's going to be a little bit of a long video because there are a lot of cards so sit back and enjoy if you do wind up having fun during this video make sure you're subscribed make sure you hit the thumbs up down below and let me know what your favorite card is from the set so let's take a look first up we got a bell sprout here like i said sit back we're gonna look at all these cards um nice art nice art does 20 damage, heal 10. Okay. Weeping Bell looking... I, I really don't like this Pokemon. I really don't like Weeping Bell. Uh, attach up to 2 Grass Energy from your hand to this Pokemon. 30 damage. Sure. But, whoa. And we have our first Hollow And Victory Bell. Fragrance Trap. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin of heads, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and switch it with your active Pokemon. That's cool, except that you have to flip a coin. So, I mean, that might be good during pre-release. Burned with Corrosive Acid. Okay, okay. We got a Scyther. That's a cool art. That's some cool art for Scyther. Um, search your deck for two Scyther and put them on your bench. Whoa. Agility, blah blah blah, flip a coin. Got a Spinarak. This looks very weird. It's like the it's like the webs are like a picture, and the Spinarak is drawn on top of it in a 3D image. Weird. Uh, we have a Hollow Ariados. That's a cool. That's some cool art. I really wish that message would stop popping up. But anyway, Reactive Poison, 20 plus, does 50 for, for each special uh, special condition affecting your opponent's active. The opponent's active, oh, Spider Trap. Active is now asleep and poison. Before applying this effect, you may choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon. Whoa! So that's going to be pretty cool during uh, pre-release especially. Like you can just switch one of their bench Pokemon and it gets asleep and poison. Cool. Alright, we got Trico. Uh, sleep poison. We got another Trico. I like this art better, personally. Smack 10 damage. Tail Whap. Why is the name Tail Whap? Why is the name Tail Whap? Hopefully that's not actually what it comes out to be. And then, of course, we got Grovile. Another cool art. Wait. This looks more lifelike. Like the trees especially. The trees look like they're literally actual trees. Leaf Blade, 20 plus, does 40. Okay, cool. Hollow, stop going over that way. We got a Hollow Sceptile. That's pretty cool. Why does he look so fat? Uh, Nature Power. Each of your Pokemon with Grass Energy received no damage from attacks your opponent's Ultra Beasts. That seems very specific. Why is it just like, if you have a grass energy attached to someone, they don't take damage from Ultra Beasts? That's weird. Powerful Storm is 20 times number of energy attached to your Pokemon. Okay, okay, okay. Got a C dot. I like this picture. Got three little C dots. Looking all 2D and cardboard and stuff. Hang Down does 10 damage. Why does that do damage? During your opponent's turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, Harden. We got another C dot. Oh, I like this art. I like this art a lot. 
Uh, Nuzleaf, I hate this art because this is just the standard PNG of this Pokemon. Uh, all right, we have our first GX. It looks awesome. Shout out to Shiftry. Uh, Perplex does 40 damage. Active Pokemon is now confused. For one grass and two other extrasensory 90 plus, if you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand, okay? Fandemonium GX, shuffle one of your opponent's cards. Shuffle one of your opponent's Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. I think that's not bad. I don't think it'll probably, it probably won't be used super often. Surskit with a standard PNG. Masquerain. I guess it's drawn, but it, uh, yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad. What does Masquerain do? Discard all special energy cards attached to your opponent's Pokemon. That's not bad. That's not bad. For three energies, 40 times, up to 160. Volbeat, the thickest Pokemon in existence. Also, why are these things regional exclusive and why don't I have one in Pokemon Go yet? Actually, I probably will have one over the next week or so. Um, 20 plus, in your Illumise Il used Pheromone Sign. Does 100 more damage. Whoa, so he pairs up with this guy. Do these arts go together? They definitely do. They definitely do to some extent. Yeah, they do. They both they connect at the bottom. Okay, I see you. I see you. So, if you use Pheromone Catcher on Illumise and then switch, that'd be cool. Do 120. I'll have to keep that in mind for pre-release. Kecnia. Uh, I like that art. I have a cool picture of Cacnea from the Go Fest that I was just at. This Pokemon's your active Pokemon is damaged by an attack. The attacking Pokemon is now poisoned. Okay, so it's like Poison Touch, I guess. Uh, well, not quite like Poison. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Cat Turn. Poison Payback. If this Pokemon's your active Pokemon is damaged, it's the same thing. Oh, it's the exact same. I didn't even realize it was the same. Faint Attack. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage to that Pokemon. Okay. Tropius. Tropius is another one that I'm probably about to get soon in Pokemon Go. I came back with a whole lot of Torkoals and Unknowns from GoFest, so I'm going to be trading those to a lot of people. Find a friend, search up the two Pokemon. That could actually be really good in uh, pre-release, because you can put him out first. He has 110 damage, so it's going to take a while to kill him. Search deck for two Pokemon, reveal them, you can put them in your hand and get something set up on the bench. Also, he does 70 damage if you happen to get that many. Delmize. I don't think, have we seen, we haven't seen too many Delmize cards. Um, Giga Drain, 30 damage. Powerful Spin, 130. Okay. Slugma. Whoa. That's a cool interpretation of Slugma. He's like actually lava and he's just like floating there or well, what, what would that word be? He's just, uh, he's existing. I don't know what the word I'm trying to say is. Uh, Magma Ring, 10 damage to fame Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Mag Cargo. This kind of has the same idea. Like they're actually lava. They're not just like in a being. Uh, okay. What does he do? Smooth over. Once in your your turn, you may search deck for a card, shuffle it, and place it on top. So he doesn't have to be your active Pokemon. You can just have him on the bench, search a card, put it on top. So that'd be good, again, in pre-release if you're using, I guess, something fire. Got a nice little Torchic. Got another little Torchic. I like the other one better. This guy, his head is so wide. Got a Combuskin. Combuskin looks really cool. Uh, double kick 30 times. Flamethrower, 80 damage, discard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this Blaziken, though. That Blaziken looks nice. GX cards always look really nice. They do, they're do, they do a really good job anytime they put a GX in. Slash does 60, explosive kick does 210, discard 2 fire. Blaze out GX, discard 2 energy from your opponent's Pokemon. 
That seems extremely underwhelming for a GX attack. Torkoal with the nice PNG art. I will never get I will never get behind this PNG art. Ugh. All right. Um, Burning Guidance, 30 damage, discard top four card. Whoa. Oh, if any fire energies were discarded in this way, attach them to your Pokemon. That's cool. So it does 30, and you get to take the top four cards of your deck. If any of them are fire energies, you can put them on your Pokemon. That's cool. Oracorio, the fire... I don't remember... I'm about to play through Ultra Sun again. Spoilers. Uh, actually, you know what? It's not too much spoilers. It should be starting today. But that's a whole different story. Um, I like the art. I like the art. Alluring Salsa. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. The new active Pokemon is burned and confused. Nice. Okay. Got an Articuno GX. Look at... They always look so cool. All right, Legendary Ascent. Once during your turn, when you place Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may switch your active Pokemon with this Pokemon. If you do, you may also move a number of water energy from your Pokemon to this Pokemon. That's cool. That's like, didn't Tapu Koko used to do that in like the first Tapu Koko? You'd put it down, you could put it into the active and you'd put all of the water, or put all of the electric energies on it. This is the same type of thing. So you get this thing in your hand, you can throw it down, immediately attach three, and you're doing 130 on that turn. That's pretty cool. Cold Crest GX, discard all energy from both active Pokemon. I guess if your opponent's like one energy away from something, but with the way energy acceleration works in, in, in current TCG, uh, that, that probably wouldn't be too useful. Got a Mudkip, got another Mudkip. This one is infinitely better. Infinitely better. I just can't get behind these arts. Can't, what is this jam? Shoutouts to Glitch X City and Mew More for this playlist, BT Dubs. All right, Marsh Chomp. Oh, I can't get behind that art. Muddy Water, 20 damage. 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Surf, 70. That's useless. Okay, look at this Swamper. Just look at this Swamper. You know, Sceptile is the best third gen starter. I don't care what anybody says, Sceptile is the best. But Swamper makes a nice case for number two here. This art is nice. Are these the same people? Okay, it wouldn't have surprised me. Who is screaming behind me? Just kidding, it's in the song. Um, power draw, once during your turn, you may discard a card from your hand, then draw three. That's not bad. Hydro Pump 20 plus for each water energy. So you'd probably be, you'd likely be doing 140. Okay. Oh, sorry for yawning. Definitely just woke up not long ago. And I'm very, very tired from Pogo Fest. All right, we got Lotad. I like this Lotad, except he looks old. Like, that looks like a mustache. Does that always look like a mustache? And I'm just, like, drawing a blank? Uh, choose a random card from your opponent's hand without looking. Your opponent reveals the card, then shuffles into their deck. That's cool. Got Lombre. Lombre. This Pokemon has any water energy attached to it. Its retreat cost is zero. Okay. Ludicolo. Hollow Ludicolo. I like this art. I like Ludicolo. I'm a fan of Ludicolo. Any Pokemon that Brock had, I'm probably a fan of. Let's see what he does. Swing Dance. Once during your turn, you may draw a card. Okay. Circular Steps. 70 damage. Does 10 more for each Pokemon in play. I might need to skip this song, because this song is going way too hard. Alright, then we have a Whalmer. Is that a gym? That's a gym. That's a gym, and he's just like... Carefree. I like it. I like the art. Three water energy, 50 damage, flip a coin to, to until you get tails for each head, heal 50 from this Pokemon. A Whale Lord, Dwindling Wave, 200 minus, 40 less for each damage counter on this Pokemon. All right, we got a Clamperl. Wak 
what other art are you gonna do of Clamp Pearl? What other art are you gonna do for this Pokemon? If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. Okay, thank you. Now, now, now I should calm down again. All right, then we have a Huntail. It's drawn, but this looks so basic. To me, at least. Bug Bite does 30. Defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. Or Gorobus. I like Gorobus art. Look at all these Gorobus in the background. That's cool. I guess except that they just copy pasted everywhere. But that's alright, I guess. Pink Spray, 30 damage, present all damage done to this Pokemon by Evolution Pokemon during your next turn. See, they have it so that you can evolve first turn, and then they make two lame Pokemon afterwards. Love Disc. Ah, Love Disc gets the Yarn treatment. Even Game, search your deck for a number of base Pokemon equal to your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay. Got a Reg Ice. Just, just a Reg Ice. Ice Barrier. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you're put. Yeah, this card will never be used. How about a Hollow Kyogre? Look at that art, bro. See, how come all of them? Not all of them, but how come you have stuff like this, and then you have stuff like this? Is it literally just because this is Kyogre? I would understand it if like your reasoning is, well, this is Kyogre, so you've got to give Kyogre something cool, even though he only has 130 hit points. 30 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon, or two of your opponent's Pokemon. Grand Wave 120, can't use Grand... Yeah, this card will never be used. And then we have Voltorb, Floating Electrons. As long as this Pokemon has energy attached to it. Okay, that makes sense. Got Electrode. Look at this. GX. I mean, you can't... What, what, what can you really do with Electrode? It looks nice. Not my favorite. All right, let's see. Oh my god, there's a lot to read on this card. All right, extra energy bomber. Once during your turn, you may discard this Pokemon. All oh, is this the same? Oh, never mind. Similar to his, like, the, the old Electrode ability. Discard this Pokemon, all cards attached to it. This counts as knocking out. If you do, search your discard pile for five energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Energy ball does 50 damage. Crush and burn GX. 30 plus, discard as many energies as you like attached to your Pokemon in play. If you do this, attack does 50 more damage for each energy card you discarded. Whoa. That seems like it's really good. I mean, you discard four. If you just, just if you discard four, you're doing 230, which is pretty much taking out any Pokemon in the game. So if you just need to nuke something, that's literally what it is. It, it should just say Nuke GX, but obviously this day and age you can't say that. Um, okay, then we have a Chinchow. What this guy look like? What the heck? This was drawn with a crayon. This was drawn with a crayon. You will not convince me otherwise. Lantern. This was also drawn with a crayon, but there's more details to it, so I'll give it a pass. You can use this ability once. Each time... What? You can use this ability once each time one of your opponent one of your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack. The punctuation in that is all wrong. But anyway, choose a base energy card attached to the knockout Pokemon and move it to this. Blah blah blah. Electrike? That's cool. That's a cool art for Electrike. What does Manectric look like? Cool art! Cool art! What's he do? Volt Star. If you go second, you may play, play this card face down from your hand during setup. What? So if you go second, you can just start with this thing. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. If you go second, you play this card face down. Attach one lightning energy, do double charge for 40, and attach two basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. That's really good. 
for like pre-release. We got Plusel. Shout outs to Plusel. Plusel was everywhere at Pogo Fest. Like, I don't know why Minin was spawning, it was spawning so much less, but I caught, hold on. Hold on, let me, let's take a second. Let's take a second here. Let's, let's take a second and look. I caught, how, so through the entire weekend, I caught six shiny plusle, which really isn't a lot. Uh, I, my, my shiny luck is terrible. But I only caught three shiny minin. Like, what? How come the one that is... The one that is uh, harder to tell when it's shiny was spawning so much more shiny? I don't get it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, minin. Oh! I didn't even see... In this small image, I didn't even see Plusle. I was like, why does Minin get its own card? But anyway, what, is, what does this do? Everyone draw. Shuffle your hand to your deck, then draw equal number bench Pokemon. To the number of bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. Okay. Playful draw. Discard a card from your hand. Draw cards so you have five cards in your hand. All right, sure. Or Corio, uh, Pom Pom. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. I don't remember the name. Sparkling Pom Poms. This deck does 30 damage to each GX and EX in play. They're about to not have to say EX. Actually, they probably will continue to say EX for things like extended play. Now, this Mr. Mime, I remember looking at this Mr. Mime, and I think it's really good, and it pairs up nicely with another Pokemon that we haven't seen just yet. But Magic Evens, if this Pokemon will be damaged by an attack, prevent that attack Prevent that attack's damage done to this Pokemon if the damage is 24, is anything even. That's crazy. That's crazy. Also, I love how it only goes up to 260. So if you hit it with 280, it's too strong and it would break through the barrier. That's a nice detail. I like that little detail. Um, does it do anything else cool? Count the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Put that many damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. So what, average you'll be doing between 40 and 70 each each turn? That's not bad. And heal all damage from this Pokemon. That's... I kind of like this card. I kind of like that card. I wish I could get into competitive TCG, but every time I start to, I start thinking that I'm too old for it. Because I am. Alright, then we got a Gulpin. Look at this ugly little... Oh. Um, then we have a Swalot. Look at this ugly little... Amnesia, 30 damage, choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks. Can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. That could be cool. Lock down something in a pre-release. Spoink. <laughs> Grumpig with the PNG art. Mirror steps, 10 plus. Hollow Lunatone, another Pokemon I'm about to get soon. There's a Moon, and then there's a Lunatone. Soul Shade, as long as you have Soul Rock in play, each partner's fire. I think R stands for fire. Sunbeam, the maximum HP for each Lunatone you have in play is now 130. Okay, so these two are like cute together. I like this art. This is cool. Sun, sun. I like that. I like that they went together. Were they were they drawn by the same people? No. That's interesting. So shup it. That's a cool little art. I couldn't find a shiny shup it. For as many Pokemon as were spawning, how did I only find a shiny Aeron? And plus one minus. I couldn't find a shiny Snow Runt. I couldn't find a shiny Shuppet. I couldn't find a shiny Aerodactyl. There were so many things spawn. Uh, I couldn't find a shiny Whalmer. I think that's everything. I think that's everything that was spawning that was shiny. That was potentially shiny. Got another Shuppet. I like this art better. This is the background. He's just wandering. Got a bayonet. Get out of there! 
Red Eyes. When you play this card from your hand to evolve Pokemon during your turn, you may play a base Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile to their bench. What? So it's like, if they... So when you play this card down, you you can add... I don't get it. Also, I just thought there's a Bayonet GX! <laughs> so, probably not going to use this guy. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may move one damage counter from either player's Pokemon to another Pokemon. Okay. Shadow Chant, 30 plus. Attack does 10 more damage for each supporter card in your discard pile. Can't add more than 100. So it'll max 130. 200 GX, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. Sure. Hollow Deoxys. This art is pretty cool, but he only has 120 hit points. Psychic, 20 plus for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Power Blast, 120, discard an energy. Okay, regular Deoxys. Deoxys defense, no, excuse me. Deoxys attack. Deoxys defense. Reflect. Pokemon takes 40 less. Psychic Screw does 80. And Deoxys speed. Teleport break, 20 damage. You may switch po this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. All right, sure. And then we have a Luna. What's special about Lunala here? If this Pokemon has a Psychic Energy attached, it takes 20 less damage from attack. Okay. Full Moon Ray, 80 plus for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Onyx, nice art. Fampy, this is the first Neo Genesis card that I recognize. There could have been others, but I certainly recognize Fampy here, as well as Dawn Fan. As well as Larvitar, I think. See, this is another one of those where the background looks too realistic. The Pokemon doesn't look realistic enough. That's just me. I'm pretty sure these are the same art as the Neo Genesis ones. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Alright, we got Metatite hanging out here. I like this art. Got Benelby and Emolga hanging out here. <clears throat> Medicham. Uh, Lightning Strike, 10 plus. Pokemon is 30 HP or less. Attack to 160. Whoa. 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 Okay, how about Baltoy? Cool. How about... Uh, <laughs> Some of these artists are just underwhelming. Some of them are great, though. This is this one looks cool. Cybolt, 20 damage, flip a coin, hand check, Pokemon is not paralyzed, Miraculous spin 40 times, blah, 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 blah. Reggie, right, I kind of forgot how long this video already was. I don't know how far, how far are we? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Reggie Rock, he looks cool. I like the implied motion that we see with his hands. I like this art. I like this art. This art is really nice. Uh, Enhanced Stomp, 20 plus, this Pokemon has a tool attached to it, does 20 more damage. Nice, you're doing 40! Alright, how about this 40 hit point Groudon? Again, sick artwork. I want, is this the same, is this the same guy that did... This one? Shin Nagawasa. Nasagawa. Nope, different. That's interesting. They have different illustrators, but same ideas. Alright, then we got a little Palosan GX. I feel like I've seen this card before. I feel like I've seen this card before. But anyway, Eerie Light, 60 damage. Opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Uh, Life Absorb, 100. Heal, 20. Sanford GX, 60 times. Look at the top 13 cards of your opponent's deck. This card is many Pokemon you find there, as you like. This attack does 60 damage for each Pokemon you discarded. Your opponent shuffles the remaining cards back into their deck. Whoa, that's a nuke. That's a I'm killing you right now. Jeez. 
All right, then we got a mini ore. Starfall. Once during your turn, if this card is in your hand, you have room on your bench. You may play this. You may play this card as your active Pokemon. And move your old active Pokemon to your bench. Swift does thirty. Why would you want to do that? I guess if you just want to save like a GX from getting taken out and losing two prize cards. Look at this Rattata. That's a nice little art. And a Lowland Raticate GX. He's small, but you get the idea. The art's pretty cool. The art's pretty cool. Throw away. This is no energy. Wait, what does his no energy do? Search your deck for an Alolan Raticate. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Okay. Throw away. 40 times. Discard up to two cards from your hand. Does 40 damage for each card you discard in that way. This is actually really cool. This would be really good to use in, uh, again, in pre-release format. Hyper Fang does 150. Item Miner. Search your deck for up to six item cards, reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Alone Eradicate's not bad. Probably won't be used in, like, actual play, but he's not bad. He's not bad. Sneasel, the former mascot. We've got some changes to make, but um, definitely a Neo Genesis card. Definitely a Neo Genesis card. Also definitely a Neo Genesis card. Um... So trample 120 for each bench Pokemon, flip a coin of heads. Uh, I don't like flip a coins. This looks weird. This looks like it's a person inside of a suit. It does not look like Sableye. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Another Neo Genesis card in Steelix. 80 plus flip a coin does 120. Why does Scizors always look like this? Scizor always looks really cool, but then his background is just like brushed metal. Danger Perception. As long as Pokemon's remaining HP is 100 or less, attacks do 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So Steel Wing would do 160 if he's under 30, and then attacks done to it are reduced by 30. Crosscut GX, if your opponent's active Pokemon is in Evolved Pokemon, does 100 more damage. So it's 200, and if you're below 30 hit points, it would do 280. It would kill anything that's in the game. Nice. Then we have this Mawile, whose art's pretty nice. Mining. Search your deck for a trainer card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If that card is a Pokemon tool card, you may attach to one of your Pokemon instead. Then shuffle your deck. Bite off. 20 plus. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Nice Beldum, hanging out in the forest for some reason. Why are you in the forest? I don't know. Another Beldum. This is where I would expect Beldum to be. Uh, Metang, hanging out in the forest. Someone tell me why he's in the forest. Okay, this card is cool. This card is really, really cool. It's got Steven in the background. That's a really, that's one of my favorite arts that we've seen. Extend, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and you play Steven's decision from your hand, your turn doesn't end. Oh! Whoa. Meteor Mash does 60 damage. During your next turn, this Pokemon's Meteor Mash does 60 more damage. Metagross is cool. Reggie Steel, awesome card again. Awesome card. I like Nagasawa. It is not Christmas time. All right. Why would Cynthia music play right after we just got done talking about Steven? Cynthia is the better champion. Steven is not far behind though. All right, Reggie Steel probably does nothing super special. All right, let's take a look at our first Prism card. It is Jirachi Prism Star. Uh, wish upon a star. You can use this ability during your turn. Whoa. If you take this card as a face to... See, this, the punctuation is all wrong here. Pokey Beach, if you need someone, you let me know. You let me know. You can use this ability during your turn if you take this card as a face down prize card. Before you put it in your hand and if you have room on your bench. See that? The, I Oh my gosh. Place Pokemon onto your bench then take one more prize card. So... 
Jirachi's one of those you hope winds up in your prize cards. It's like, uh, what was that called? Greedy Dice, I'm pretty sure is what that was called. Um, we got a Heatran. I don't know why he looks so special. I guess there wasn't a, wasn't actually one for this. Whoa, there's some craziness at the bottom of the screen. What's coming up? I don't know. Steelworks, look at the top four card in your deck and attach any metal energy to one of your Pokemon. Okay. Okay. We got Solgaleo. Nice, nice. Uh, then we have some Ultra Beasts. We have Celesteela. Moonracker, 160. If the total number, if the if the total of both players' remaining sprite card is six, this attack cost is just one energy. That's gonna be broken in pre-release format. That's not very fair, but I mean, still. Cartana. That's a, oh my gosh! Look at this art. He just sliced the... Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's look at this art. There's nothing special here. Nah, nah. Look at this. He just sliced that building in half. Cartana, why? Who did? Who hurt you? Kamikaze, 40 plus. If your opponent has six price cards, his attack does 90 more damage. Wow. All right, Stack Attack a GX. Any damage done to your Ultra Beast by an opponent's attack is reduced by 10. Why is it reduced by 10? That doesn't make any sense. Gigaton Stamp, 120. Assembly GX, 50 plus 50 for each prize card you have taken. Okay. We got some dragon stuff. Got a nice little bag on. Got another little bag on. Um, I probably like this one a little better. They're both nice though. Shellgon gets a yarn treatment. And then we have a hollow Salamence. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Alright, and then we got Latias, Prism Star. Um, Dream Mist does 30 damage. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to each of your benched basic Pokemon. That seems underwhelming for a Prism Star. Alright, then we have Latios Prism Star. Dragon Fleet is 50 times. This attack does 50 damage times the number of... What does N stand for? I'm gonna guess it's Dragon. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Then we have Rayquaza GX, who will never be used because there's no dragon energy. Which in the next set, it's like called Dragon's Exalted or something. Maybe we'll get some, maybe we'll get like a double dragon energy again. And dragons can be used, so I can use Komo'o. Because if I could use Komo'o, I would probably play all the time. Anyway. Stormy wins. When you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard the top three cards of your deck. If you do so, attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Dragon Beak 30 times the amount of grass and base uh, uh, grass and electric attack lightning, whatever, attached to your Pokemon. Tempest GX for one grass card, discard your hand and draw 10 cards. Alrighty. Dunsparce. Not looking bad. I feel like I didn't freak out enough about this artwork. How he's in the ozone and all that stuff. Pretty cool. Um, Wingle, I'm not even. Pelipper, do you do anything cool? Firefighting, 30 damage, discard a fire energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Slackoth, why are you. Slackoth, stop it. It's another one of those where the background almost looks a little too realistic. He's, he's closer. I caught a bunch of slack on. I can finally get a slacking. I can finally get a slacking in Pokemon Go. Figuroth looks pretty cool. Slacking. PNG artwork. I think. I think. 
Lazy, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your other Pokemon, or your opponent's Pokemon have no abilities. Critical move 160, discard an energy, and this Pokemon can't attack. I put everything on do not disturb, why is my watch going off? Leave me alone, okay. Whoa. Okay, um, this video is very long. I think we're almost done though, I think we're almost done though. I think we're almost done though. Um, so, Wismer. Wismer. Uh, he's running away from a beware. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Yarn Wismer. Okay, I see you. I see you, Yarn Wismer. Or, what? Yarn Wismer. Got Loudred. That's a pretty cool little art. I like that. I like that art for Loudred. And then we've got Exploud. I also like that art for Exploud. That's nice. Oops. That's nice. What does he do? Death Live. 80 damage. Attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. That's a lot. That's a lot. Um, we have a Skitty. I feel like that's just copy or that's just PNG artwork. But we have a Hollow Del Caddy. That looks really cool. This is a good one. This is a good one. I like this one. Friend search. When you play this card from your hand to evolve Pokemon, you may search this card pile for two supporters, reveal them, put them into your hand. Okay. Kecleon. I don't know why. I cannot get on on board with the Kecleon. I, I don't like Kecleon. Alright, we got... Now we're on to trainers, so we are almost done. We got an Acrobike. Look at the top two cards here. That can put one of them into your hand. Discard the other. What's this? Apricorn Maker. Kurt! Search your deck for two item cards with ball in their names. Show them to your opponent, put them into your hand. Nice! Oh, that's a supporter card. That's cool. I don't think we've ever seen something like this, as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, but... We have a Beast Ball. Look at your face down prize cards. You may choose one Ultra Beast you find there, reveal it, put it into your hand, and put this Beast Ball in its place. That's, I like that they chose Ultra Beasts to be in, uh, I like that they chose Ultra Beasts to have just to do with prize cards. It's either, you know, depending on how many prize cards you have left, how many prize cards your opponents have left, take an extra two prize cards, and then this Beast Ball Trainer, that's, that's cool. Bill's Maintenance. If you have any cards in your hand, shuffle one of them in your deck, then draw three. Copycat. Ah, look at this. I, I only clicked on it again because I saw these two with the same hair. And I saw Blaine and I was, is she copying Blaine? She totally is. You can see her little green hair pop, popping out there. Shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw a number of cards in your opponent's hands. Energy Recycle System. Search your discard pile for basic energy cards. You may either show one basic energy card to your opponent put it in your hand, or show three basic energy cards to your opponent and shuffle them into your deck. Search your discard pile for basic energy. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Energy switch. Move a basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another one. Fisherman. Nice art. That is some cool artwork. Put four basic energy cards from a discard pile into your hand. You may play only one supporter card during your turn. Oh, I don't know why I read that. Uh, I don't know why I read that. Friend Ball. Search deck for a Pokemon that's the same type as one of your opponent's Pokemon and play. Reveal it, put it in your hand, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. How? Look at that boy. He looks a lot thinner in this car in this art than he does in the Sun and Moon games. Hiker. Ah, this is one of the cooler, uh, one of the cooler, uh, I say that. Thinking about the trials in Sun and Moon. It was one of the funnier ones, for sure. Look at the top five cards of either your deck or your opponent's deck and choose one card. Shuffle the remaining cards back into that deck and then put the card you chose on top of that deck. Look at the top five cards. 
So you could look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck just to know what they're going to be getting next. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. What is this hustle belt? I don't know, but I like it. If the remaining HP of this Pokemon, of, of the Pokemon this card is attached to is 30 or less, attack does 60 more damage to your active Pokemon. Imagine putting this on that Scizor that already does like 80 more. He'd be doing 110 more for every attack under, wow. Last chance potion. And then you can use this. Heal 120 damage from one of your Pokemon with 30 or less HP. Life Herb. Flip a coin of heads, choose one of your Pokemon. Remove all special conditions and six damage counters. Lycia. Search your deck for two Prism Star cards. Reveal them, put them in your hand. Lure Ball. Flip three coins for each hedge, choose an evolution card from your discard pile. Reveal them, put it into your hand. Mask Royale. There are so many energy or so many trainer cards here. Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your stage two grass, fire, or water Pokemon. That makes sense, because he's Kukui, attached to starters. I get it. Pokenav, look at the top three cards of your deck. You may choose a Pokemon card or an energy card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Top three cards of your deck. Choose a Pokemon card or energy card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Okay. Rainbow Brush. Nice art. Choose your deck for a basic energy card and switch it with an energy card attached to one of your Pokemon in play. This could work with Rayquaza. Ah, I see. If you have the wrong type of energy, you can use that. Ah, I see. That's interesting. This could potentially help Dragon decks now. Huh. All right, Rare Candy. I think we know how rare candy works. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to read that. Shrine of Punishments. What the heck? Between turns, put one damage counter on each GX and EX in play. Right? Sky Pillar. Sky Pillar? Oh, Rayquazas. Yeah. Sky Pillar. All bench Pokemon. All bench Pokemon aren't affected by damage or effects from the attacks of an opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Steven's Resolve. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And if you have a Metagross down, your turn does not end. Super Scoop Up. That's an old card. We all know what it does. Switch. Another old card. We all know what it does. Tate and Liza. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Switch your active Pokemon, or choose one. Shuffle your hand into your deck, draw five cards, or switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. TV Reporter. That's a cool little art. I like how she's like in your face, though. Draw three cards and discard a card from your hand. Underground Expedition. Look at the four cards from the bottom of your deck. Choose any two cards there and put them in your hand. Put the remaining cards back on the bottom of your deck in any order. In any order. Yup. Yup. Rainbow energy. Alright, let's take a look at the full arts. Full art shiftry. Full art blazer. Full art Articuno. My favorite so far. Full art electrode. Full art Mr. Mime. Full art bayonet. Full Art Scizor. Full Art Sakataka. Full Art Rayquaza. Full Art I don't know who you are. Apricorn Maker. That's who you are. Your name is Kurt. Full, full Art Bill's Maintenance. Full Art Copycat. Full Art Lycia. Full Art Steven's Resolve. Full Art Tate and Liza. Full Art TV Reporter, and Full Art Underground Expedition. I like this card. That's a lot of cards. We just went through the whole set. Now missing from this set is Altaria GX, and she's go probably going to be saved for Dragon Majesty. I said Dragon's Exalted. I don't know why, but uh, Dragon Majesty. 
Dragon's Exalted might be like the Japanese set name. But that's going to be the next set after this. Um, the pre-release promos are as follows. We have Kyogre, Manetric, Celesteela, and Delcaddy. And then once the product images come out, or once the products come out, this is what we have to look forward to. We have Blaziken, Jirachi, Rayquaza, and Stack Attacka. Well, that's going to be the entire video. Again, I know this is a very long video. If you stuck around to the end, thank you so much for checking out our set preview. I know a lot of people probably do this. I don't know. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've had the tabs open on my screen for a long, long time. And right before I started this video, I looked to see if there was a unified one, and there is. So that's what we decided to go with. Um, I might be going to pre-releases. I don't know for sure. Um, we'll find out. I guess eh, it depends on what I'm doing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, but if I do, then there will, of course, be a video here. If you want to see us do some TCG openings, let me know in the comments down below. And that will be it. Today, we are back from our vacation. So we'll have our videos going back up starting today, assuming everything goes smoothly, which I imagine it will. So hopefully you can check out Pokemon White, Pokemon Conquest, and our brand new Pokemon Ultra Sun Wonderlock. Coming later today, again, if all goes according to plan. Again, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.